In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your Blender meshes to Roblox Studio. So here, as you can see, I have a TV model I made in a tutorial on how to texture with a gradient palette. So if you want to know how to use a gradient palette like this to texture your models, I'll put a tag in the corner right now so you can watch that. But basically, I'm going to show you how to get a model like this into Roblox Studio. I'm going to try and be fast here. So basically, if you've used a palette like this um, that's on your computer already, you're fine. It doesn't matter. However, if you've made a texture yourself, using texture paint in blender you want to go make sure you're in texture paint and then have your texture up here go image save as copy and then save it on your computer before exporting the mesh and then when you upload the mesh to roblox it will up automatically upload the texture so using here i can go click on it make sure you've got it selected go to scripting templates python and then batch export that seems complicated but it isn't you literally just go from the layout to scripting and then templates python batch export you can do file, export, and then FBX. However, I'm going to tell you why doing it through the scripting tab is good. Say, for example, here, I have like a whole asset pack. So maybe I've got, um, let's quickly make a table. So as you see now, I've got a table here. And if I wanted to get these into Roblox Studio, I, I don't know how you're meant to do it, but I used to have to like, I'd go delete this, file, export, undo that, delete that, file, export. However, if you want to do this without having to do that, you just select them. Go to scripting and once you've added this thing it comes up with this script and you just press the play button and when you press the play button wherever you have your blender file saved so you do have to have your blender file saved at this point so you can see i have my file saved here which is like an assets file here in this folder i just called it a folder tutorials and now if i go to make sure they're both selected you don't have to have everything selected so if you just want to uh, export the tv or you just wanted to export the table you could do that but i like to have them both selected scripting press the play button and as you can see there's the assets blend file and it's actually exported these fbx's cube and cube one and the reason these are called cube and cube one is because that's what the names are here in my collection so if i go on this one and name it tv and go to the other one and name it table i can actually highlight them again and then do export again and as you'll see table and tv this is a really good way to export this is the best way that i think can use really so yeah i would suggest you use this if you don't already and now i'm going to show you how to get them to roblox okay so here in roblox studio now i'm just going to delete this middle spawn thing and i'm going to go and this is where there's multiple ways to upload you can go to here this workspace thing in the top corner and then click and then just type in mesh and add a mesh part this is good if you just want to do one mesh so if you've got one thing or two things you want to upload you just delete duplicate that and then click on it make sure you got selected and come down to the mesh id then go to your files and find where you've got the thing saves so if I want to upload my TV and then yeah, just yes, no. And it does spawn in really big. However, you can see here that that has uploaded and it's replaced the mesh part with the mesh. And then if I want to do the same, I just go to my table. However, if you've got like a hundred things, you don't want to do this. So you can go to view, asset manager, and it goes here. The only problem with asset manager is you have to publish this to Roblox. So do save to Roblox and call it assets, right? So we'll call the assets. Um, and once it's saved to Roblox, you have no problems. But if you want to work offline, you have to do it by using the mesh parts. And now you can see the asset manager will work. Now let's publish to Roblox. And you click this little upload button. And now you can highlight all the files. So if I highlight all of these, because I've got, you know, the, both of them. I know they're both there twice. But this shows if you want to, if like 50 files, click open. And then, yeah, you just do apply all. And then all the meshes will work. Mesh will resize. It will resize them if they're massive, if you tick that. But you don't want them to be resized. You just untick the resizing thing. Actually, you can see now, I go like this, select them all. So click on the top one, shift, click the bottom one, right click, insert, and now they're, they're all there because there were two of each. So that's that. That is literally the simple way how to import meshes to Roblox. But sometimes you'll get it and it won't actually have a texture. It'll just be like gray like this. If that's the case, if that is the case, you can just click on the mesh and go down here to the texture ID. You can see there's a texture ID thing. If there isn't a texture, that'll usually be blank. As you can see here, this has a texture ID. If it doesn't have a texture ID, click on texture ID, click on that, add image, and then do choose file. Now that you've done that, you do choose file, and then you navigate where you've got your thing saved. So if I upload the color palette here, as you'll see, that adds the texture, easy. That's it, I hope you enjoyed. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, and that's it for the video.